So under the microscope, the diseases of the brain look different. Parkinson's disease generally affects the cells that produce a chemical called dopamine, a neurotransmitter in the brain. So those cells start low down in the brain, in the midbrain, called the substantia nigra, the black substance, and then project up to the middle of the brain, what we call the basal ganglia. And the basal ganglia are like mission control in the brain. They, they regulate all the activity for physical activity, such as motor function, as well as thinking and mood, are all affected because the pathology of losing that dopamine in the brain uh, affects all the circuits that go through that region, the basal ganglia or the striatum of the brain. On top of losing dopamine cells, we also see the loss of other cell types that produce chemicals, such as those that produce noradrenaline, serotonin, and acetylcholine. And all of those cells and transmitters are important in a lot of the non-physical aspects of Parkinson's, such as mood, memory, sleep. And I think it's important to recognize uh, that these often overlap and are making our challenge much harder when we're treating Parkinson's disease patients.